My name is Mike. I am a full-time media seller. I am at my storage unit today. It is Monday. So we have weekend sales and the topic we are going to be covering today is kind of what motivates you, right? Motivation. Everybody has a different form of motivation, you know, whether it's something going on in your life, something, you know, that you experience in your past. There's a million different things we could talk about when it comes to motivation. So we are going to cover that after we cover the eBay and Amazon merchant fulfilled sales from over the weekend. We have some of both. It was a pretty good weekend between both platforms. If you're interested in being around like-minded people, join the YouTube channel weekly, Zoom calls, private Discord, all of that fun stuff. So first off, we are going to jump into the eBay sales then Amazon. So I mean, it's beautiful out today, right? It's like 50 degrees. Me and Deb already went for a walk. I mean, honestly, I don't even need to have this stuff on, but it's going to be cold later on this week. So I'm enjoying this while I can. I kind of cleaned up the unit. Just give you guys a little quick peek. We got some new bookcases. We made all this our packing station. This here is going bye bye. I just forgot the Allen keys. So this requires a certain size Allen key. I only had a phillips screwdriver not going to work so we have our bookcases now it's a lot neater a lot more space that's a little bit behind the scenes but let's get right on into these sales and then we'll talk about kind of what motivates me and uh what motivates you well let's go all right three ebay sales from over the weekend i haven't listed on ebay in probably two or three weeks it's another project for me to get through here i just had another library pickup so everything you see here is at least a 20 dollar comp on ebay uh you know it's just random things here copper identification narcotics anonymous um some going with the winds stuff like that things that need to get listed so i do have my work cut out for me when it comes to listing on ebay i'll admit that but the three sales we had 15 dollars took an offer religion in wood a book of shaker furniture so finally sold this it's been sitting for a while so that was a good sale Next up, we have a history of Eastern Europe. So this is two DVDs and a little book. Sold this for $25. I recently lowered the price from 35 to 25 and it sold basically within the same day. So finally getting rid of these as well. This was from the library pickup a few months ago or probably like two or three months ago. So this is gone as well. And the last eBay sale is a combo can. I picked these up at a Goodwill. They were $1.99 each. They're like uh, tank books, old school tank books, kind of. So I sold both of these for $20. Uh, this one does have a poster. They all usually have a poster. Some of them did, some of them didn't, but both of these have the poster. It's just a fold out of the specific tank. I can't pronounce that, the Panzerwaff at war. So these are just, you know, kind of a series, armor at war series. I did, I've already sold a few of these, so I, I think I have one left. I bought about six or seven of them. So they had all these sitting at the uh, Goodwill, so I picked them up, figured it'd be worth it for eBay, and it was. So we finally sold those two for $20. Now the Amazon stuff. Let me get my phone cooking over here. And I have these in order, I know for sure, because I just pulled all these. So first up, DVD, remember, plus $4 shipping. We have nine dollars and 24 cents a three-pack action charles bronson dvd movie new sealed so it's got the mechanic messenger of death and assassination i have not seen any of these um i am aware of who charles bronson is i just have not seen any of these movies so sold that for nine bucks plus shipping next up this one uh never even heard of i guess sold for twenty dollars well I guess I can't say $20. $19.99 plus shipping. Concussion. This is new sealed as well. No idea who any of these people are or what this movie is about, but $20, bucks, i will take it. Now we have a book, Hardcover, The Great War and Modern Memory. Sold for $13, $16 plus shipping. Uh, this will probably cost a little bit over four bucks. Amazon does offer bound printed matter as a shipping way. So you save compared to media mail pretty significantly when it comes to heavier books. So 
probably spend a little bit over probably like four of 12 or somewhere around there to ship this but that's going as well free up some nice shelf space because this is a bigger hardback moving on we have from the personal collection um ps5 game here horizon forbidden west uh I, I probably picked this game up a while ago. I played through it. I beat it. So I figured why not get rid of it? it sold for $40 plus shipping, which is pretty crazy since it's been out for a while. But I don't keep things. After I get my use out of them, I get rid of them, right? There's no point in me sitting around hanging on the games, especially when I don't have time to play nearly as much as I used to. So we got $40 out of that, which is a good flip. All right. The best sale of the weekend was... This is a used DVD. For some reason, I thought it was new because it sold for so much. And I, this was in a video probably like last week or the week before. Killer Tomatoes. We have $50.74 plus shipping. Killer Tomatoes Strike Back and Killer Tomatoes Eat France. I personally have never seen either of these. I know they are cheesy, like low budget horror films. But most of the stuff has like a cult following. So I can see why this sold for so much. So if you ever see Killer Tomatoes, pick it up, right? I know I know it looks silly, but these movies are pretty comical. I've seen clips and everything from them. So that was a good flip. Another DVD, brand new, Tango and Cash. I have not seen this. And it's got my boy Sylvester Stallone in it. Kurt Russell, another good actor. Um, brand new sealed, sold for... $11.99 plus shipping. The rival LA policemen with one thing in common. Each thinks he is the best. <laughs> I feel like I got to find this now somewhere and watch it. <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be a good one. Um, but yeah, so that was $12. We got carried away on that one. That does sound like a pretty good plot though. You know, Kurt Russell versus Sylvester Stallone. Next up we have... The Armor of God Bible Study Book. I paid $1.50 for this. It sold for $13.86 plus shipping. Uh, a lot of these are usually pretty good. And don't be worried if it has like some writing in it. It's not a big deal, you know. Just make sure you put it in your condition notes. So that was a good sale. We paid $1.50, you know, sold it for basically $18. It's pretty, it's pretty cool too. Somebody drew something in the back as well, so. I mean, it's not bad. A lot of it is empty. You don't want the whole thing to be filled out, right? Because somebody has the intentions of using this. But uh, overall, you know, it's not bad. So, and the last Amazon sale, we have Stargate. Kurt Russell again. Hey, Kurt Russell, if you're watching, I appreciate you making me some money with some of these, uh, some of these great movies you were in, right? So, uh, Stargate brand new sealed artisan dvd uh the artisan stuff usually sometimes does command a better price there's a million different editions of these but this is the uh special edition so you know maybe kurt russell you know maybe he does some special stuff in this who knows but we sold this for 2329 plus shipping kurt russell shout out to you and i'm not even making this up we literally just sold an item on ebay we sold another one of our little bikes, our little finger bikes sold for $25. It's behind my thing here, so I can't get it, but it's one of those little, you know, metal bikes. So we sold another one of those, which is good. But uh, yeah, good weekend of sales. I can't complain about that. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about motivation, right? This is kind of like, it's a weird topic to cover, right? Because a lot of people have a lot of different things that kind of motivate them. So for me, I would say my motivation is kind of, I mean, as cheesy and stupid as it sounds, like providing for Deb and the cats, right? Uh, I don't want them to be, you know, I don't want, <laughs> well, first off, my cats ain't getting jobs, right? I don't want Deb to have to go work a job she hates or anything like that. So that kind of is my main motivation behind the scenes is just providing for them. If my cats could have jobs, I would, I would sign them up and I would drop them off every day at their jobs so they make me a little bit of money. But that's kind of my drive and motivation is them. And another thing that, that motivates me is, I guess, like, getting where I grew up, where I was growing up, and just getting outside of that and seeing, you know, like, a lot of people that are still stuck down there in the rat race. And, I mean, it's, it's hard to get out of situations like that, right? 
if you guys know anything about like you know bad neighborhoods or cities i was uh, born and raised in kensington it's a neighborhood in philadelphia if you go look it up there's tons of video on youtube uh kensington and allegheny is like the main one you always see the videos everybody's driving by kensington and allegheny i live three blocks from there right so uh, coming from that kind of area and getting outside of it and like kind of never wanting to be back in a situation like that that kind of is another motivating factor for me right i got myself out of a bad situation i don't ever want to be in a situation where i'm over leveraged or there's no way out and you wind up you know back on the streets or you know living somewhere that's just just terrible right and i would say you know that's kind of just part of life right everybody goes through things everybody has seen a lot been through a lot some of us more than others and you kind of roll that into what motivates you and gets you out of bed every morning when i was at cbs i a motivating factor for me when my reselling business was getting out of a job i hated and a lot of people are in that situation right now where it's hey i'm not happy with my job my career what can i do to get out of it well maybe reselling is you know that that ticket out like it was for me so nobody has an excuse everybody has something to motivate them and i i've, I've been seeing, seeing seeing and hearing a lot of uh kind of nonsensical excuses lately out there is well i can't you know get out and get to thrift stores as often as i used to or this or that well there's plenty of different ways you can make money online whether you're reselling or doing something else you just have to put in the time and the effort and do the research and look for the information right there's plenty of different business models even if say hey reselling is your thing and you only want to do something that relates to reselling there's plenty of ways you can secure inventory online and never leave your house besides when you go to the post office to ship your stuff and you can even have them pick that up for you so nobody has excuses but everybody should have a piece of motivation no matter what it is right listen nobody in the right mind wants to sit here and list all these books on ebay just because oh i just want to list stuff on ebay right <laughs> you want the money and you want to you 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 want to have a business so that's your motivation right even if just money is your motivation and for me that does play a part in it right because you know being broke forever you know most of my life now that i have money it motivates me to to make even more money so i'm never in a situation where money controls a decision i make in life right whether that's there was times when me and Deb couldn't afford vet bills for our cats and you know you have to get a credit card or you unfortunately can't even have you know the surgery done for your animal and I can sit here and admit that I've been in that situation plenty of times where I, di I didn't have the money I didn't have the credit so unfortunately you know my cat couldn't get the surgery it needed or my cat couldn't get the care it needed and I don't ever want to be in that situation again and that's and that's what motivates me right I don't want to be in a situation where money is an obstacle or a choice I have to make, right? Is it money or is it health, right? It's one of those things. I wanna have the money, so whatever comes along, I'm perfectly fine. So I'm curious to see what motivates you all. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more used book videos. Thank you, Kurt Russell. Bye-bye.